Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we created we did a few things. We created a post controller and we added some resource functions here: index, create, store, etc. Uh, we also created a route. If we go to our routes web.php file, we created a resource route for our posts. Okay, so that's going to automatically map routes to those functions. And we also created a model. Okay, if we look, if we go to post PHP, that's our model, which currently doesn't have anything in it. Now, your model really, you don't really have to do much here because everything is in this. Okay, all the, uh, you know, when we do something like post the post model and then we do all. Okay, to get all posts. So this is this is coming from the the model that this extends. So we have a ton of functionality available to us already through the model. Okay, so in here, what what we'll be doing actually isn't very much. If we want, we're going to be adding a relationship between posts and users later on. So we will have to do that here. Um, but other than that, we can set some values here, like the table name. So by default, the table is if we if we create a model called post, by default, the table name is going to be posts plural. But if you wanted to change that, you could. And then you would just have to specify it here by saying protected table equals po uh, whatever, whatever you name the table. Ours is post, so I'm just going to keep that. We don't have to have this here, but I'm just going to put it just for reference. All right. You can also change the primary key field. So in our case, it's ID. Actually, let's do. Eh, we'll be protected. So protected primary key. Actually, I'm not sure this may have to be public. Let's just make it public. And primary key for us is ID because that's that's the default and that's what we have in our database. But if you wanted to change it to something like item ID or something like that, you could do that. You just have to specify it here. All right. You can also specify if you want timestamps for your records. So we could say public timestamps and we're going to set it to true. We don't have to have this because it's true by default. We have the created at and updated at fields. But if we didn't want those, we could put false here. All right. So those are just some of the things that you can do in your model. And, and this is all in the documentation. All right, so let's just save that and we'll close it up for now. And what we want to do is go to our controller. So we're going to work on the index, the post index. So if we go over to our application and we say slash posts, that's actually mapping to the the index function in the post controller. And the reason it's mapping to that is because we have our resource routes here. Remember in the last video, we I, I ran that artisan command that showed you all the different routes. So what we need to do here is we want to load the view. So let's say return view. And this is going to be in a fi uh, folder called posts in the views folder and then a file called index.blade.php. So let's go create that. So resources views and then let's create a folder in here called posts and a file called index.blade.php and then in here we're going to extend our layout which is in layouts.app okay because it's in the layouts folder and then in app.blade.php then we want to include the main section or the content section And in here, let's just let's just put an H3 and we'll just say post actually an H1 and we'll say posts. All right. So if we save that and now we go to slash posts, you'll see we it's loading that that template that view. So back in post controller, we want to fetch our posts. So we're going to bring in the model. OK, now the model has the namespace of app and then it has the title of post. So all we have to do to bring it in is say use app backslash post. And then we can simply say post and we can do we can use any of the model functions. OK, and this is actually using eloquent, the 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 uh, object relational mapper, which makes it easier to do 
uh, database queries rather than write out SQL. But we can do a regular SQL and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So let's put a double colon and then all. Okay, and that's part of Eloquent that's going to fetch all of the, the data in this model in this table. So if we just test this out and return this, okay, it's going to return this and stop. It's not going to load the view. You'll see that it actually gets all of our posts. Okay, it's in an array. So let's go back and instead of returning it, we'll put it into a variable and then we'll pass it into our view with width. All right, and then in our view, in the index, we're going to loop through it. So let's first check for posts. We'll say if count posts is greater than one, and I'm going to put an else and then an end if. So the else, we'll just put some paragraphs and we'll say no posts found. Okay, if there are posts, then we want to loop through them. So we'll do for each. And we should be able to do posts as post. And then in here, let's put a div with the class of well. We're using bootstrap. And in here, let's put an H3 and we'll just do double curly brace post title. All right, let's try that out. And there we go. So we're looping through the posts in our database. And then let's just put a small tag underneath it. And let's just say written on and then we'll do post created underscore at. All right. Later on, we'll add the author when we implement users, but we haven't done that yet. So right now we'll just do the date. So let's add a link to our nav bar to go to the blog. So we'll go to our views inc nav bar dot blade. And right here, let's just copy this. And we'll change this to blog and it's going to go to slash posts. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I want to be able to click on this on one of these posts and have it take us to an individual page. Now, when we created our resource methods, there's one called show and that's what takes care of the individual uh, the individual post. So let's go back. Actually, let me close that one out. All right, so let's go back to actually let's add the link first. So in our index. We'll go inside the H3 here and let's put an A tag. Wrap that title. And then this is going to go to slash posts slash and then the ID, which we can easily get with post ID. All right, so let's save that. And then it should take us to a blank page because it's just it's loading the show function, but there's nothing there. So let's go to our controller and go down to show and notice that it's passed in the ID. It's it's going to get the ID from this URL. So it, it'll know that this is post one. This is post two. And then to fetch it from the database, all we have to do, let's say return. And we're going to do post, which is our model. And then we're going to do find. And we're going to pass in ID. And that's it. It'll find it by the ID. If we go and we click on one, you'll see it loads post one over here, returns post two. So Eloquent is very, very simple. It's very handy and uh, it's very clean. And I'm going to show you some of some of the other stuff we can do with with Eloquent up in the index. But I just want to get this settled first. So we know that this returns the single post. So let's put it into a variable. And then we're going to load the view. So we'll say return view. We're going to return. It's going to be in the post folder and then it's going to be in a template called show. All right. And then we're just going to pass along post and then the variable post. And that's it. So you can see how clean Laravel is compared to something like Code Igniter. 
All right, not to bash Code Igniter. It's just I think it's a good comparison because I just I did a series on it. Um, I do like it. I think it's a great framework to learn MVC with. It was actually the first PHP framework that I learned. Um, but I think Laravel is much cleaner. All right, so now we have to create the show view. So let's go to our post folder in the views and say new file show.blade.php. And let's see, we're going to do our extend. I'm just going to copy this. All right, and then what I have an H1 and then an H3 ending it. I got to install Emmet. All right, so let's go back to show and this should just be an H1. And we should have access to the post because it's not an array. We don't have to loop through it. So let's just say post title. And then I'm just going to get rid of this. And let's test that out. So we'll go back and let's click on post one and you'll see that it gets the title. Okay, very simple. Let's add, we'll add our small tag here and we'll just say written, uh, written on post created at. All right, and then we'll put the body in. So I guess we'll, we'll just put this in a div. Later on, I'm going to show you how we can implement a, um, a WYSIWYG editor so that we can actually, you know, have a little section where we can choose headings and fonts and, and all that stuff. And we'll actually save it as HTML. But for now, it's just going to be uh, plain text. So let's take a look at that. And there we go. We have the title, the date and the body. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the date underneath everything. So let's take this, copy it, and then under the body, let's put an HR, and then we'll put the written on. There we go. We should probably put a back button as well. So let's go right above the H1, and we'll just put a link, and we'll say go back. And that's going to go to slash or, or slash posts. And let's add a class of BTN and then BTN default. Now we can go back. All right, so before I go, I just want to show you some other things we can do with Eloquent. So let's go back up to the index where we're just selecting them all. Now, let's say we wanted to order it by something. Let's say we want to order it by title. So what we could do here is instead of using all, we can say order by. And then in here, we want to say what we want to order it by, which we'll say title. And then the second parameter will be if it's going to be ascending or descending. So let's say ASC. And then just that isn't going to isn't going to get it. We actually have to call get. OK, if we're going to add clauses like this, then we're going to say get at the end. So let's go ahead and save that and reload. OK, and I guess if we do descend, it should reverse. So D E S C. And now if we reload, you'll see post two comes first. All right. Uh, and that's actually how I want it, because I want the most recent to be the first. Now, if you wanted to get an individual post, just like we did down in the show, and uh, obviously you can use find like we did, but you can also you can also go like this. You could say post equals the model and then where. And instead of the getting it just by the ID like we did below, we could get it by title if we wanted. So we could say where title is post two. And we have, we have to add get to that. And let, let's just return that. And you'll see that it's only getting us uh, post two and it's getting it by the title. It's using a where clause. So we can do that as well. I'm just going to comment these out or comment that out. Now, what about not using Eloquent? Let's say you want to just use SQL queries for that. We can bring in the DB library by just doing use DB. 
and then let's comment this out for a minute and let's say posts equals and then we're going to do db and we're going to do a select and we're going to say in here we're going to put our query which will be select all from posts okay so that should work the same way it should get our posts let's reload and it does all right so you can use this if you want but I don't see very many cases where you should use this over eloquent um, I just think that eloquence a lot nicer and uh, a lot easier so let's comment that out we'll put this back I actually want to put the initial query back as well just so you guys have it so post all like that and I'll just comment it out I should probably put this one la down here next to the return all right that way you guys have this if you need it for reference make sure it works good now we can also limit our posts pretty easily so if we were to do uh, let's see we'll just let's copy this and I'm gonna just comment this one out for now and then let's just add on to this we're gonna say take we can just chain things like this which is nice so let's say take one and now if we go back and reload actually that's not right uh, take oh I think I gotta do equals one let's try that no that's not right what the hell I could have swore that that's supposed to work let's return this and see what it get what it gives us oh so it did ID it's weird let's go back no post found hmm I'm not sure why it's doing that because we're putting it in the variable we're passing it in it should be an array of one value what if we did take two huh oh wait a minute Ah, I did post greater than one. It should be greater than zero. That's why it wasn't showing because it was one. It wasn't greater than one. I don't know why I did that. So now if we go back and say take one, it should give us one. Good. All right. So I just want to show you you can do that. And then the last thing we're going to look at is pagination. And I, I'm just adding it because it's really quick and it's really, really simple to do. Um, all we have to do is grab this and instead of get we're gonna say paginate and we only have two posts so I'm gonna paginate it with one per page so now if we go back there's still only one but we can put our pagination links down here very very easily we'll just go right into our index and go under the for each still in the if but under the for each and all we have to do here is say posts links and that's it watch this reload look at that they're even styled so post one we can go back to go to the next page uh, obviously we want more than one per page so I'm gonna just change that to let's say 10 and then once we hit 11 the pagination will kick in right now it's not gonna be there because well we only have two posts all right, so you can see how easy that is with Laravel. Um, in the next video, what I want to do is start to work on the form so that we can actually add posts through our application. All right, so sit tight. I might have to uh, upload the next video tomorrow, so uh, don't worry. That, that will be the next thing that's uploaded. I'm not going to go off and do something else and come back in a week, so don't worry about that. So let me know if you guys are liking the series, and I will see you in the next video.